Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how I'm going to be styling my tear tray for the fall time. As you know, I am due with baby boy number two any minute now, so I really wanna get some fall things out before he arrives and I'm unable to do so. Um, it just makes me happy to have out my fall and Christmas decorations early. So I'm gonna do my tear tray and just show you kind of what I have before and what I'm gonna add to it and how I'm going to change it up. So initially I just have this tear tray from Home Goods and this wooden tray with this flower arrangement from Home Goods as well. On this top tier, I have my sunglasses, I have a little sign from Hobby Lobby, a plant from Hobby Lobby, and some hand sanitizer, which is gonna be essential with the baby coming. I mean, I know it already is, but even more so. And then on the bottom here, I just have this little live succulent in a mason jar and a pink magnolia candle with some farmhouse beads. The candle was from Home Goods, the beads Amazon, and then that little plant was from Aldi. So I'm gonna be deconstructing all of this and then showing you the things that I'm gonna add to make it fall festive and fun. I wanted to show you the things that I'm gonna add, um, some new pieces and things I've collected over the years. I have this lantern my sister-in-law got me. I believe it was from CVS a few years back. So I always use that in place of my flower arrangement. I have this little buffalo plaid pumpkin, which I got at Target last year. This little garland that I picked up at Hobby Lobby this year. This cuddle weather sign also from Hobby Lobby this year this little a pumpkin this thing was from the dollar store it's so cute it's pretty heavy um like some type of ceramic as well so i thought that was a really nice find i have this little halloween little bowl candy dish type thing with some candy corn and pumpkins in it just for display of course, you could eat them too if you do come to my house and you want a sweet treat. Um, I have this little easel that says trick or treat that I made. I used an easel from the Dollar Tree and my Cricut machine. I have this adorable little light up car from Hobby Lobby. Let's see if I can get it to light up. There we go. Thought that was so cute. It's a little like pumpkin patch scene in the back. So I wanna add that on there. And then I just have this mug that says pumpkin, which I made last year um, with a mug from the Dollar Tree. So let's deconstruct and then add all of these goodies on there. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Wonder. 
Okay guys, I think this is my final look for this fall season. So as you can see, when doing a tiered tray, it just takes a little bit of time to see like where you wanna place everything and how you think it should look. It's totally customizable, which is what I love about this. It's just, you know, something for everyone and you can add all of your favorite goodies on your tray. But over here, I stuck that lantern as you saw. On this bottom tray, I have the candy, the little mug, I have the trick-or-treat easel, and the little car. Then I just put some twine going all the way up the tray. And in this top, I have the cuddle weather sign, I have the two pumpkins, and the farmhouse beads. So definitely don't be afraid to layer your pieces, come up with like different color schemes. I kind of have like more neutrals on the top and more like Halloween fall colors on the bottom. So I totally mixed and matched here just to show you all the differences and things that you could do. So this is what it's looking like. I might change it up um, if I find anything new in the stores, which I probably won't be out too much in the fall time, honestly. But for this year, I think it's really cute and I love it. So this is how I'm gonna keep it unless I just arrange some of the items on it. Um, but maybe next year I'll do something a little bit different. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tiered tray. And I also wanna show you my little fall coffee bar area too. So here is just our little coffee area. We have my husband's espresso machine and then the Keurig Duo, which I love because my husband loves to make regular coffee in the pot and I love the K-Cups. And this thing does both, so definitely can't recommend that enough if you have two different types of coffee drinkers in your house. We picked it up at Costco when they had a sale, per usual. Um, but I recently picked up this wooden tray from Target. It is the Chip and Joanna line, the Hearth and Hand Magnolia. And then I just stuck all of my K-Cups in this little mason jar. We have the espresso cups here. I just have this little chalkboard sign I found at the Dollar Tree and I wrote on it. Just a cute little Hocus Pocus Halloween coffee freeze. And then I have this little pumpkin from Bath and Body Works. It's actually a magnetic pumpkin for on top of the candles, but I just stuck it here because it was small enough. And then I have these fun little fall lights that you guys may have seen in my Dollar Tree haul. They are so cute. And for only a dollar, I feel like they add a lot extra to this tray. I couldn't fit too many things on this, but I just thought it was really cute just to add in a few little touches. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you got some ideas for your tiered trays. I've actually never done a fall one before, believe it or not, um, but I absolutely love them now. I think I'm addicted and I cannot wait to put a Christmas one together in the future. But if you guys did like this vlog, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate that. And thank you guys so much for all of your support over the past year. I'm definitely gonna continue with the vlogs. I'm gonna have a baby update vlog coming out later this week. I go to the doctors today, so I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated on that. Um, and that's about all I have for today's vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.